वेलकम बैक टू अदर डे आर सी एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोट गिव योर टूर ऑफ द इंटायर शिप विच आई एम ऑन राइट नाउ फर्स्ट वील गो ऑन टू द जेटी एंड सी द शिप साइड Before we start, I wanted to show you that we have got two propellers and two rudders on this ship. As you can see over here, one is over there, and the one is just below. So let's continue our journey forward, and I'm going to show you the bow of the beautiful, beautiful Tripoli. This is our gangway. It's the number one gangway. and uh, we have another one which will be a bit forward so let's continue so, uh this is our pilot door and that will be the draft of the midship and we continue forward with the second pilot door and uh, that is our second gangway which we will take it off now and uh, the first one you saw was behind us on board this ship we've got two bow thrusters you can see the marks over there and we have almost reached the forward section i'm going to show you how the bow of the vessel looks we have two beautiful anchors which are again huge because this is a got a mega ship so uh, it has to be huge yeah to hold this vessel at anchor when required so let's go on board now so this is the entrance to our ship but we'll go there once we see the pilot access which i was showing you which is right here and we can open the door and the pilot can get access to our ship so let's go on board now so before i give you the full tour of the vessel let me just show you the general arrangement of the ship so this is the forward area that's the aft the vessel is 400 meters in length accommodation is here at 146 meter distance from the forward and the engine room is in the aft and i give a engine room tour of the entire entire machineries we have on board so i'll put a link over here you can press that and check that video out in today's video i will still give you a glimpse of everything so let's go so right now we are just below the accommodation and we can see there is the starboard side all the way over there port side all the way there so those who are not seafarers port side is the left side and starboard side is the right side so let's proceed with the right side which is the starboard side so if you see over here first we have our deck store where we have all the spares and uh, tools for our deck work so you can see over here many things As we exit the deck store, we have the plate where the ship was built, DSME in Korea in 2014. Moving on from here, we have our stairway. Inside is our accommodation, which we'll go inside later. Then we have a few few aircon rooms here and also over there. So we are in the starboard side right now. in the mediterranean sea so now we'll go forward and then go to the port side and cover the entire deck of the ship we have almost reached the forward area but before that i had to show you a few important things we have a few controllers here and you see some lights and bollards so when we carry out our tug operations as you must have seen in my previous videos then this is where we make it fast and these we have some controllers over here and here so uh, yeah important area very important operations conducted from here so here we are in the forward section of the ship and this is where we conduct our mooring operations which means when we have to go alongside a port 
then we have to put the ropes ashore so that the ship is made fast and to use that we use these particular winches over here and these winches are powered by an electric motor which uh, is right here and we've got 1 2 3 4 5 winches all in all in the forward section of the ship so that is the foremast of the ship and we've got a vessel right over there a pa and on top we have a foremast light which is a navigation light moving on this is the hose pipe of the anchor which we have on the port side and that is the anchor cable and the big winch so this has to be engaged with this particular winch and then we do our anchoring operations and those who are following me know we have done quite a lot of anchoring on this ship I hope you all like the shots from the top and on that note we have fire hose boxes all across the length of the ship which contain fire hoses fire nozzles and few hack keys so fire fighting equipments are very important because a fire can take place any time on the ship so if you all are curious of how the sea looks right now so let me show you that this is a bulbous bow As you see all the way Also these are the fair leads through which the ropes pass onto the shore these are the particular controllers for each winch located there and i as an officer in charge of the forward station is controlling here and my men are working with the ropes as you must have seen during our mooring operations so that was the forward station let's now go on to the main deck of the ship so as you all see behind me there are two additional winches on the main deck each on port side as well as starboard side this is for the spring lines which prevent the forward and aft movement of the ship same thing as you saw on the forward station and this is the fair leads through which the spring lines are sent ashore So this particular ship is a container vessel that is why all we carry is containers and to keep that secure i will now go up on top and show you how exactly it is secured and what is a lashing bridge Here we are on the lashing bridge and you see over here these rods these are known as lashing rods which are securing the entire stack of containers and right now it is up to 10 high that means from bottom most container to the top most we have 10 and like this we have 94 bays so you can imagine how many containers we are carrying more than 15000 containers and these are the twist locks which are in between two containers all the way on top and also on the bottom so that is how the containers are secured also you can see fire hose boxes here as well as on the other side you see the small red box same thing like i told you fire equipments all along the ship's length no compromise we were just near bay 22 and we have to go a long way so if you haven't liked the video till now do like it so that the algorithm knows that i'm doing a okay job
Also for life saving appliances, this is known as a life buoy. So, in case a person falls overboard in this water, then we can throw this so he can float and then we do our rescue operations. Now, these things, these life buoys are situated all across the length of the ship because guys are working here maintaining the ship and anything can happen anytime unfortunately so LSA has to be handy. Now before we go further aft there are few important things which I have not covered in the accommodation like the paint store and this is how it looks but this is not very important very important is on top let's go. On the accommodation on both sides we have our life jackets inside here, immersion suit, another life boy, and the important thing, a life boat. So I'll go inside that also and show you how it looks from the inside. But on the same A deck, we have two life rafts, as you see. So just in case the, something goes wrong with the life boat, then we can throw these life rafts and save ourselves. And also just for information, this is a bunker manifold. From here we do our refueling of the ship. Let's now go on top to the lifeboat area. So I'll be now entering the lifeboat to show you what's here. That's how it looks from the inside. We've got few fire extinguishers, lifeboat equipment. This is from where we start our engines. Steering wheel is for the release mechanism. A compass and ration over there. And this is how the accommodation looks from the outside. That is a navigation bridge. And these are the places where we stay and we have our food, etc, etc. Let's go now to the engine room. So now we have to travel 250 meters to the aft section of the ship. We have finally made it to the engine room of the ship. It's inside, we have to go down. But for now, I just wanted to show you the crane which we have to pick up stores and provisions and spares we have. So that is what is used and uh, there is two funnels over here because this ship has two engines. Now I have shown that before but I will just show you in this video as well. But first I want to go up top and show you how the view looks from there. So as you see, we have to go all the way up top. We just covered two decks, so long way now. Woo! So guys, here we are on the topmost section of the engine casing. And that is the navigation bridge. Beautiful view. Lovely. Right, this is the huge funnel. From where the exhaust gases are coming up from the main engine, number one. And for the number two, it is over there. And we've installed, installed something known as a scrubber unit. So they, we, we do not pollute the environment. The NOx and SOx emissions are controlled. up and long way down so let's now go to the engine room right, before that i have to show you something else please pardon me for saying before that so many times because there are so many things on the ship to cover one video is definitely not enough but i'm doing my best so this here is the emergency generator of the ship in case we have a power failure, the generator stops working, then this is our backup. In case engine also fails, this is our backup for producing electricity for basic needs. That's how it looks. That's the breaker system. 
So guys, just in case I want to give you for good knowledge that this is our fire locker number two, and inside here we keep our BA bottles and fireman outfit to fight the fire just in case something goes bad. We have now entered the engine room and this is the engine control room from where the operations are carried out and monitored and you can see a lot of parameters over here many things full detail video I have already made so you can definitely check that out over here so I just took a small break over here because it got very tiring covering the ship which is so big but in any case now let's go to the main engine and workshop of the ship The engine room has one, two, three, and four floors. Upper deck is from where we entered. This is something else which I'll show you later. Right now, we are entering the E3 where there is main engine and workshop. the engine room of the ship really hot tiring but that is why I like the deck side because the view is so awesome all the time let's now proceed to the aftmost part of the ship here we are in the aftmost part of the ship it's a beautiful Mediterranean blue over here have a look and enjoy this view with me it's totally totally out of the blue like they say <laughs> since we have two engines therefore we have two propellers and you can see the wake of each propeller that is from number one and that is from number two so that is why this is a very very special ship so behind me we have the aft station of the ship the mooring station and this is a bit different than the forward because all the winches are in a straight line and in the forward as you saw it was in a circular manner so different setup different kind of operation not different kind of operation but different way of conducting the operation and these are the controllers same like in the forward here we also have a life raft just in case somebody is stuck in the aft station so he can take this and abandon the ship and also we have got a life boy as you see and a few life jackets and immersion suits which I'll show you immersion suits and life jackets I can show you how it looks you see that's how they look now you all must be wondering how the ship goes left and right so let's go to the steering gear room it's the entrance these are some inflatable life jackets Right now we are in the steering gear room and since we have two propellers there for two rudders and this is for number one rudder and over there we have for the number two rudder but the special part about here is the basketball court we have and I made also a video of the entertainment system we have on board what we do for fun so I'll put a link here you can definitely check that out. That was more or less the entire 
deck, 400 meters of the ship. Now let's go back inside and I'll show you a secret passage we have. We covered the entire length of the ship from the main deck which was above and now we'll go below the deck, the secret passageway, back to accommodation. Long way, this is the entrance to the accommodation as you see ACC but I forgot to show you one important thing which is the bosun store of the ship where we keep our ropes etc. So we'll proceed there and then come back here. This is the bosun store of the ship where we keep all our spares for the deck items like mooring ropes, that's a bench wise we can work and some mid locks, twist locks, base locks, all the lashing material etc which I showed you in the beginning of the video for securing the cargo that is all kept over here and you see these big round things inside this is the anchor cable of the ship and if you want to break free the anchor that is how we hammer it over here, this is one of the bitter end and we take off the anchor in case there is an emergency. Back inside the accommodation, I can tell you it was very tiring to cover the entire ship in one video but I somehow managed to. In any case, now we are inside the accommodation. This is the ship's office where we do our cargo operations. That is our ECDIS, the map and from here and here we supervise the ballast operations, stability operations, cargo ops etc. And this place over here is very important, it's our fire locker. And you can see everything red, red on the ship means something related to fire and orange means something related to life saving. And same thing here, BA bottles, we have spare extinguishers. Moving on guys, this is our ship's laundry and from here we wash our clothes. So inside the accommodation you can see we split into many decks again. We were here right now and my room is in the E deck, second officer, navigation bridge is here and galley etc is on B deck. So welcome to my room, the second officer's room and that is how my cabin looks. It's a bit dirty but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is where I stay. Moving on from my room, let's go down to the sea deck where the entertainment system is and I'll show you how we pass our time on board and then we go up to the bridge, the topmost level on the ship where the ship is commanded 24 hours in a day. We are here right now. I'll show you the gym and day room and slop chest. So that's the gym of the ship, a big gym, great for a quick workout. From this, this is our entertainment room where we play our PlayStation, got PS4 right now with a few games, a lot of controllers. So this is the place we, we spend most of our time during our free time. And this is the place where we put on our weight because 
we've got endless amount amounts of chocolates chips some ice cream and all this has to be paid by us it is not free and we have a wonderful library we've got lot of movies 2000 plus movies books to read foosball table yeah let's move to the b deck where we have a dining room and galley good morning chief hello hello, hello. 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 so our chief today is cooking for us many yeah. things and that's some indian stuff known as papad and that's our galley chief all good all good all, all good. good thank you <laughs> this is our galley and just opposite your aba dining room where we eat our food as you see the food is been prepared now it is time for me to have my food Welcome to the navigation bridge of the ship and this is where I command the ship for 8 hours in a day along with the third officer second officer in assistance with the captain and this is how the bridge looks I have already made a detailed tour of all the bridge equipments we have in a video which I link over here and in this video I will just give you a quick tour of the bridge so this is known as a telegraph and through this particular handles we control the engine speed and these are the parameters reference for that and this is our steering gear system you can see the main wheel through which we give our rudder angle moments rudder angle is something like this this is our primary radar this is our egdis which is for maps in short and rest all of this there are many things over here so i don't want to go into the explanation of each the the video will be very long so for now i'll just cut it short till here so i hope you all found this video informative and got a good detailed view of the entire ship do let me know in the comment section which was your favorite part of the ship and i'll respond to that but in any case if you did like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video i'll see you back from another day at sea